All right, we're gonna do another Co Wetzel today. Um, this one was requested again, just gonna turn into the Co Wetzel channel. I'm fine with it. Um, but getting into this one, uh, drug problem, not real bad. Um, and I'll play it on electric and I'll play it on acoustic. I know I only had an acoustic for a long time, so I'll play it on that just to hear what it sounds like. Technically, it's on an electric, but. So getting into it, not too bad. This intro, and technically this is in half step down tuning, but you don't play any like big full open chords, so it doesn't really matter. You kinda play without it. Um, but starting, you're gonna be two fingers, the whole intro you can play with two fingers. Um, but you're gonna be your fourth fret on your A string, and then your third fret on your D string. Back to your fourth fret really quick, so. You're going to hammer on, again, on your third string, your D string, from your third fret to your fourth fret. And then just pull off back to your third. And then back to the fourth and the A. So slow. It's where you slide down to your first, third, fourth. And play it one more time. So those two are the intro, nothing crazy. And then once you get it from there, technically it's a full D, um, which you can either play as playing your fourth or uh, fourth fret A string again, and then your A shape, so on your um, sixth fret. Or the alternative, because it's kind of a chunky chord, you can play just the power chord, which is just gonna be four, six, 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 six. Or play the play. And then one more time. And all that part is is a walk up with the same power chords from one to three. So one through three. Slide it up and it's gonna be three, five, five. And then you slide up one fret. And it's just gonna be four, six, six. So And that's what it is while he's singing. I'm not gonna try and hit that first big note, but while he's singing in the beginning, that's what you got. And then it goes back. When he finished singing, right before it kind of drops, you know, gets real distortion-y. One more time, he plays the intro. And then kick your distortion on, whatever you got. And the only difference, you're just gonna keep playing that. The only difference is instead of kind of muting it, you're going to let it ring out and try and just target those three strings. You're just letting them ring out. And again, if you have an amp, you're plugged in, hit your distortion, it'll sound more accurate. You know, it gets real messy. But that's kind of, you know, it's what he's going for is... Uh, just the real, you know, kind of the beat drop in a country song. <laughs> but just to run through that on acoustic, if that's all you're playing, it's just as cool on acoustic. But it's gonna be the same thing. Same thing, either your big dig. Or play the power chords. Just so you can hear the sound on that one. I know you can't do the distortion with it, but you can still kind of let it ring, especially if you play the full D. But, hope it helps.